Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is NeuraPre. This is for pregnant mothers, and this water claims to have a pH level above 7. Next up is Eureka Water from Sagertown, Pennsylvania, and we're going to start off by comparing their pH levels. Okay, I put in the drops, and you can compare the water color to the chart. To me, they both look like about a 6. I am colorblind, but what do you guys think? Neuropri says it's a 7 pH. It looks like a 5 or a 6 to me, uh, but what do you guys think? Usually when I compare two waters, there's like something in common between the two, but with these two, it's just pretty random. Like They don't have that much in common. They're both still waters, but other than that, they're pretty different. Uh, Neuropri, like I was saying, is for pregnant mothers. It's supposed to help them with like morning sickness and it's supposed to help with the nutrition of the uh the baby being born i am not a pregnant mother I, i've got kind of a belly but i'm not pregnant <laughs> um this is supposed to have a high ph level it says it's above seven on the on their website and this is supposed to have vitamin b6 vitamin b12 vitamin c theum floate biotin lydin Robin and uh, some other vitamins and minerals and it's got no calories no fat no sugar um, no carbs none of that stuff so this is supposed to help you when you're uh, growing, a, growing a baby inside of you Neuropri was purchased on eBay it was $16 for a six pack so it's about two dollars and sixty six cents per bottle which is a little bit high but when you're ordering online it's not that crazy i guess and if you're pregnant and if you're worried about your child it's not that crazy of a price i guess i've never experienced morning sickness but if it's as bad as they say it is then yeah i guess paying a couple bucks to avoid that um if it really works could be worth it eureka springs water is 100 percent steam distilled water normally i'm not a big fan of distilled water Le blue was like one of the only distilled waters that I really liked. Um, this is from the store Quick Stop Convenience Store. And this is from Sagertown Beverage Company in Sagertown, Pennsylvania. I'm kind of actually familiar with Sagertown. I'm, I'm in Pennsylvania, but this is like a two hour drive from me. But um, I have a lot of relatives who live in Meadville. It's like a really small town, kind of near Lake Erie. And uh, Sagertown is a small town a couple miles from Meadville. So some of my relatives might be friends with people who work there or something. Because it's a really small town. Like, in the area I live in, I don't know the people who live across the street from me. I don't know the people down the street. But in Meadville, people kind of all know each other. And, like, in Sagertown, it's, it's also a very small town. Um... I looked it up on Google Maps, and somebody had a review of the water that said the water wasn't watery enough. I just thought that was kind of a funny review on Google Maps. I looked up the Saratoga website, and I found some interesting stuff. They uh, helped out during Hurricane Katrina, and they sent water to victims of Hurricane Katrina. And their website, like, when you, when you buy a huge one-gallon container of water like this, I didn't really expect anything normally there's no website for it normally it's just they just do it as cheap as possible and there's like no history behind it or anything but sagertown's website actually has like the history of sagertown bottling company and it says that they started in the 1890s and they started by selling uh, ginger ale and then in 1905 <laughs> the sagertown bottling company uh they were in the world's fair in paris and they won the like the grand prize for um, just great tasting like soda. And then in the 1970s, they started bottling their spring water. And then in 1990s, they started bottling the distilled water. And I thought that was pretty cool. Like it's cool that they have a history that they seem really excited about the quality of their water. So I was actually kind of looking forward to drinking this. But then I found another page on their website that shows other brands of water that they they make and just put their label on. And I found out that they also make 
Crystal Lake water. Crystal Lake water I reviewed about two years ago. It was one of the worst waters I've ever had. It's from Rite Aid. Oh. It's, it's from the same bottling company. They just have a different label on it. And it just tasted, you know, terrible. It tasted like just dirty, dirty water. Um, but that, that was a spring water. This is a, a distilled water. So maybe it'll taste better as being a distilled water. So let's open them up and do a comparison. For the Nura Pre water, they also had some reviews on their website. People complained about this one that the vitamin taste was too strong. So let's find out. Yeah, there is kind of a Flintstone vitamin aftertaste to it. It's not, I wouldn't say it's super strong, but there is a, a vitamin taste to it. Like if I was drinking this out of the tap, I would say, oh, there's something wrong with this water. But knowing that it's supposed to have extra vitamins and, and minerals and stuff, like in my mind, it, it seems fine because I know it's intentional. I know it's supposed to have it. Yeah, this bottle has tons of claims. Um, I, I, don't, I don't have time to go through all of them, but it's supposed to help with high blood pressure, which I actually have high blood pressure, so maybe this is good for me too. And a lot of their claims are just because of the... Um, high pH level, but let's try this one. <laughs> okay. It's, um, it's not terrible like Crystal Lake water, but it does have the, the slight taste of, of this kind of material to it. Yeah, I just don't think water is great in this kind of plastic. I think it has a bad taste to it. Yeah, I, I went back and rewatched my review of Crystal Lake and I was like gagging. I didn't even want to finish the bottle. This one's a lot better than Crystal Lake. Maybe, maybe I just had a bad batch of Crystal Lake water, but it was really bad. Okay, I'm going to say that the winner is the uh, Nura Pre water. I, I kind of agree with them. The, the taste of the vitamins is pretty strong, but I prefer the taste of the vitamins over the taste of this kind of plastic material. So congratulations, Nura Pre. You're moving on to the next round.